Okay, good morning. I am back. So, today is Friday. Well, yesterday I had my lead meetings. Today I'm just in my room finishing up little things. So I'm putting the rest of the labels on my book bins in my library. Hopefully I didn't forget any. <laughs> um, and I have some copies to make. I am going to show you, hang on. The team and I saw, I think it was like on Facebook, Instagram, all over social media last year, I think, or the year before, um, a teacher had sent out a thing to her parents saying like, hey, if your kiddo is having a tough day, um, just email me, text me with handle with care. Just those three words and that way I know I may need to love on them a little bit more, give them more time, whatever that kiddo needs. And so we had talked about that. I do not remember who it originated with. I tried to find that last night, but so many people have made their own variations that it was hard for me to figure out who started that. So if you know who started that, please leave it in the comments below and let me know because I do want to give them credit. I looked online for a bunch of different, well, what started was I looked online for the letter because we want to put that in our meet the teacher folders. I couldn't find one that had class dojo because that's what we use on first grade here. So this is what I made. I did not come up with this. I just took it from something I found online. We knew what we wanted it to say, handle with care. And so this is what it says, it says handle with care. If your family is experiencing difficulties at home, I would like to provide additional support at school. I understand that you are not always able to share details and that's okay. If your child is coming to school after a difficult night, morning, or weekend, please send me a message on Class Dojo, and all you have to do is type handle with care. Nothing else will be asked. This will let me know that your child may need extra time, patience, hugs, or help during the day. And so I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go make copies of this so we can put it in our Meet the Teacher folders. Also, we are doing little goodies we usually do like I don't know little back to school gifts um last year I did like eyeball rings a maze a pencil and like something else in like a little bag and they all have tags um and then we are doing a few some like a few different ones so I'm gonna make the last tags for those and then I have some things to laminate I feel like I had more copies to make too but I do not recall. Oh, just some copies for my team for my lead meeting yesterday. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and go do. And then I'll see you when I come back.
then I wanted to get my sharp student caddy ready. So I'll show you. I have some leftover labels that I did not type anything in. And so I'm just going to write sharp student on it. And then I wanted to show you some items I got at Walmart to put in my sharp student back bucket. So this is not all that will go in there. I also have um, like fun looking scissors. They'll get like fun erasers that smell. I usually get those at the Dollar Tree. Um, some fun pencils and yeah. But these are some other things that I picked up. So they will get twistable colored pencils. They will get regular colored pencils. Skinny markers regular markers and then the other stuff like I mentioned they'll also have like their own sanitizer and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and just make my sharp student label Okay, so nothing major. That's just what it's gonna look like. And so it'll just kind of be on the front. And I'm not gonna go through this stress of trying to make sure it's even, so I just made it catty corner. Not catty corner, I made it crooked. And then the first sharp student we'll get to open everything and so that's kind of neat so that's kind of what I do so it's all brand new for them um, and then every week they vote on them and then every student will get a chance to be a sharp student at least once typically I'll start it like the second or third week of school usually like the third week of school or so I may start it early and then I do it every week and then at the end of the year I also do sharp student of the day to give everyone a second chance and then that also helps if people come late in the year or what have you they still get a chance so that will go on my sharp student desk once I'm done with that right now I'm gonna put it back here and then um, I'm gonna go through and try to get some stuff this is gonna be my art caddy so I'm gonna go ahead and label that because that is a coupon that people can earn so again I'm just writing it on there now first year Tiffany would have gone wild and like not done this um, with just writing that would not have been acceptable but fourth year Tiffany is ready to go so I have some art stuff that I have here so this will not be one of those things where the first person gets to whatever because this is just kind of thrown together um, and so this is kind of like my random bucket of things that I found around my classroom when I was cleaning up so markers color pencils and then flare pins are my favorite and the kids get excited when they get the art caddy and they have some of those flare pins in there because they're like ooh, I get to be like mrs. Logan they also get like a big expo because um, it's just really fun for them because they all get their own little mini expos. They don't get to use big ones. So I just shove a bunch. I should put them all in. I'm going to put them all in upside down. Go ahead. Go. So I'm going to put a bunch of markers. They're all, some of them are the same color and that is okay. The last time I bought markers, I was so frustrated. I bought one of those jumbo packs for the classroom and so many of the markers were dried out. So I like had them upside down forever, but okay. So I have my markers upside down for my caddy. So that's what it looks like right now. Here are other things, colored pencils, the jumbo expo. love whoop, these stencils so I'm gonna put the stencils in the front 
Also an extra red pin. That's usually what they um, use to correct their fact fluency pages. And then um, I usually include like one or two sketch markers, a Sharpie, but they know they have to ask like when they get to use that, but they get so excited that a Sharpie is in there. And then that's it. And then they'll get a brand new thing of crayons for the art caddy. And then those ones I switch out quite often. And then that is my art caddy. And so they earn that with a coupon. And then so I will have these throughout the room and they just kind of know where to get them if they're using their coupon. That way it's not something that I have to find. And then this is usually my caddy for my back table, but I have a different thing over there. So I don't know if I'm gonna use it this year. We will see. It's always better to have more than not enough. And then let's put some stuff away. Did my library show to you? I just need to make one more label. I put stuff away in my teacher toolbox. I had to take some stuff down in our teacher workroom, which like where our copiers are and stuff like that. I reorganized those. <laughs> the, those. <laughs> you can't can't do that. I'm not very good at that. Um, but reorganized. Um, those cabinets. I made copies. I printed things. I need to cut some things out for our bulletin board in the front of the school that I'm responsible for. It's going to say, hooray, it's going to be a great year because you are here. I printed these and need to cut these out. These are part of our Meet the Teacher little gifts for the kids. It says this year is going to be sweet. And I'm going to tape a uh, Smarty on there. I made copies of these these are going to go ahead and be my name tags this year and then i'm just going to write the kids names usually i print them out and i'm just not going to do that this year i'm just going to write them and then what else i was going to do more today but i forgot what else oh you saw me put together my sharp student thing my art caddy so i have a couple things to put in there I am this weekend going to work on the Meet the Teacher gifts. I'm going to, what else am I going to do? Um, I'm going to cut out those words that I printed out for the bulletin board that I laminated and everything. Um, what else? I'm going to put together gifts for my team and for my mentee. I have that happening. I need to go to Target and do my pickup order. And then, yeah, that's it. So thanks for following me along yesterday and today. I will see you guys on the next one, which will be gifts. So, all right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.